During the past days I was busy with making a 5 volt audio amplifier circuit. And I got a little more interested in making uh, other circuits that uh, have to work on especially 5 volts. Say this is for instance a beeper circuit. I've tested it over and over. Burned out a few transistors, uh, a loudspeaker, etc. etc. But finally, uh, this is, in my opinion, a quite good beeper circuit. And the good thing is that it works on very low voltages. And the sound is very powerful. It's, it's approximately on 300 Hz. So this is a schematic and in fact it's a classical uh, A-stable multivibrator. I've made some uh, adaptations of course. A resistor here in the power supply lead 2.7 ohms. When uh, the, the current gets too high it can burn out. I found that during my experiments. That's perhaps interesting. Uh, highest voltage is approximately 12 volts, though I indicate here 9 volts, and it has everything to do with the properties of this circuit. And I will give more information uh, during this video. Uh, frequency is set, of course, uh, by these two capacitors, 100 nanofarad. And also by these two resistors, uh, 33 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm, etc., etc. And in fact, the whole circuit is very easy. I made it at first here with two uh, small signal transistors, two times a BC547. It didn't work, they burned out on higher voltages and it is in a certain way logical anyway here is how the two end transistors have to be uh, soldered in my first experiments I did not use here a 1k uh, resistor uh, it meant that one of the uh, BD139 transistors burnt out and now that is more or less solved that problem. Let's listen here and see what this circuit can bring. At first I want to connect it to the normal power supply that's here uh, and I will test it on voltages between 0.7 volt and approximately 12 volt. So let's see and listen what happens. At the same time we can look to the scope. Zero point eight volts, and the sound is not very fierce at the moment, but anyway, let's go to a higher voltage. By the way, that it works on zero point nine or zero point seven volts is very good. It means that you can use it with a solar cell. So let's go to higher voltages.
that's quite fierce, of course. Say on five volts. And you see here, this strange peak here, no problem with that. It cannot uh, say damage the circuit. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to show how that um, circuit works with a solar cell. I have only one solar cell at the moment, but of course you have a, a solar cell that can give out say 3 volt, 5 volt, etc. etc. You will surely get better results. I'm gonna connect now the solar cell. Well, here is that solar cell. It's kind of say uh, not too fierce type. But anyway, when we have here that light, put the light on it very close, you can hear it. And it's very faint, but anyway, no problem. Also interesting to see when, the, when there is more light, the frequency goes up. Hey, you can see that on the scope here. That's very interesting. Anyway, uh, like I told, with a solar cell that can give out <laughs> uh, more fierce current and voltage, uh, you can surely make this work and uh, say kind of timer when the sun shines and the sunshine is fierce enough the whole uh, thing will start to oscillate so when you are sleeping and hear that sound well you can wake up it's simple only one ID regarding to this circuit. Thanks for watching. I tested it all the way. I tested it up to approximately 24 volts and even 30 volts. I burnt out one loudspeaker. I burnt out uh, two transistors here. But finally, this is, say, a circuit that is properly reproducible and here again the how you can solder the two end transistors in two times a BD139 of course say any silicon uh, medium power transistor is usable in this case as long as its uh, amplification factor is approximately 150 and don't forget to solder this resistor in otherwise with uh, higher voltages the end transistor one of the end transistors by the way will burn out Happy Easter, thanks for watching.